right? Just like a speedboat. When they put the, the engine in a speedboat, it's a small propeller in the back of the boat and it goes through the water, right? If they could go faster in a speedboat with a paddle up front, do you think they would? Right, yeah, they would. They would have as many paddles as they could if they could go faster, but they can't. So in swimming, when we swim freestyle, we need to have most of our power and our energy coming from our legs because those are the strongest muscles and the biggest muscles in our body. And so you want to kick as hard as you can. Your arms are keeping your body up in the water. They're, having you, they're helping you hydroplane in the water. So you want to be nice and smooth with your arms. So this 25, let's kick like as like madman. Let's kick as fast as you can. Let's kick as hard as you can. Kick rapid and small, okay? First group, ready, up. Excellent, nice job. It's very important to have a small kick when you're swimming because when you swim through the water, you want to be in as small of a cylinder as possible. That's basically what you do when you're doing streamline, right? So you're trying to get into as small a cylinder as possible. The smaller cylinder that you go through, the faster you're going to move through the water because the water is 600 times denser than the air. So everything you do in the water gets magnified that much if, you, if, if you're a real streamline and you stick your head out like that, is that going to speed you up or slow you down? Slow you down, right? So you keep your streamline like here. So it's the same with the kick. If I bend my knees a whole lot in the kick, what's that do to my streamline? Slows you down, right? Or if I do a real big kick like this, what's that do to my streamline? Slows you down. So you want to keep your kick inside that cylinder of your body. So you want to keep your kick tight and small. And you want to be, it wants to be rapid and almost the whole time.